Hey, welcome to the Signet Podcast. If you're planning on getting a loan, a real estate loan, there's a lot you need to know about, and it's not just about rate. In this episode, Max expands on the other things that are important to look at when getting a loan and how this could help you. The biggest misconception is that rate is the most important thing. Mm. Consumers care about interest rate, as they should, mm. but there is too much focus in this world about interest rate. There are so many factors that go into the interest rate that when a consumer says, I'm just gonna call around and whoever gives me the best rate wins, mm. that's problematic because until you fill out an application, until you turn in all of your documents, you don't know necessarily what your rate's gonna be. You know, Fannie Mae recently inst implemented a, a, a rate adjuster. Um, we call them loan level price adjustments, but it's mm. basically a rate adjuster. If your debt to income ratio is over 40%, your rate gets worse. Now, how yeah, am I gonna yeah. tell you what your rate can be? I can give you an idea of what yeah. it's gonna be, but if I don't have your credit score, cause that matters. Mm -hmm. If I don't know the property address because taxes and insurance matter. If I don't know all the income that I can use for you, how do I know that I'm quoting you a rate? Now, let's say right. that we're working together, right? And I've got all this information. I've given you a rate quote. Um, you want to shop it around, you call around, mm. well, you'll call ABC company and they might price it at a 780 credit score with a 40 or less DTI. Mm. But in fact, your credit score is a 720 and your right. debt to income ratio is 43%. Right. Uh, you don't, you're not getting an apples to right, apples right, comparison. Right. I'm not saying don't rate shop. You absolutely should, mm. but there is more to it than just throwing out a number. In addition to that, mm. what are you paying for that rate? You know, Quicken is mm. really good about saying we have the best rate and we have tons of customers that will yeah. show uh, estimates from them. But then when you get it, yeah, the rate's lower, but you're paying four or five or mm. six points mm. to get that rate. In right. which case, well, okay, we can do better than that, but also you shouldn't pay that many points. Right. It doesn't, right. like, it. you'll never convince me that paying four or five points makes sense. Right. One or two, sure, especially right. in today's environment. Right. Um, it's not only just getting the absolute lowest deal. Mm. Are you working with a competent loan officer and a competent competent company mm. that's gonna be able to help you actually see this thing through to the end? Now, I like to tell customers getting a loan sucks. Mm. It just sucks less with us, yeah. um, which is true. I mean, you do have to give over a lot of documentation yeah. and there's gonna be a lot of back and forth. And now that your debt to income ratio matters for the rate, it, it's, it's gonna be even less fun. Right. Most people don't know what they pay their CPA. Most people don't know what they pay their financial mm. their financial planner, their financial mm. advisor. Um, people get too focused on interest rate and that's it. What is the best package for you, mm. right? Do you need to do an FHA loan? You're a veteran. Does that mean that a VA loan is the best way to go? Maybe, maybe mm. not. What about a conventional loan? Should you put less down? Should you put more down? There's so many factors that go into it you need to work with a very well qualified, competent technician of a loan officer yeah. that can show you all of your options and really lay out a plan right. versus where am I getting the absolute lowest rate? I think that the part of what stemmed from this question was, and maybe it's my own fears, when, when you're in escrow, having somebody who's gonna take you to the finish line. That's right. It, you could have everything, all your ducks in a row, your inspection's fine, there's no problems with the, you know, with anything with the property and now the financing. Right. And you need to have somebody on your team that is going to carry you to the finish line. And that's where, you know, it's, it makes anybody, it would make anybody nervous. Of you course. Know? And so, like you said, self-employed, right? Like mm. I could go through a million different things. How many businesses do you have? How many business tax returns do you have? Are they flow through entities? Are they a C Corp? Are you 100% owner of the C Corp or not? That's going to make a difference. Yeah. Are you using business funds to close or for reserves? Okay, well, then we need to go through the business statements and make sure the company can uh, support mm. using those funds and that the business won't go out. Right. You know, right. are you are you taking distributions and reporting those to the IRS? If mm. not, uh, we have to do liquidity tests. For There is a gajillion different things that go on and... Yeah. Good loan officer. I mean, th yeah. that's like 15 and 30 seconds, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got to be working with a true professional that understands exactly what they're looking at. I talked to a young lady today um, who is a physician uh, and she's not paid just a normal hourly mm -hmm. 
weight. She's got differential. She's got all sorts of different things. Right. Um, and she she's got some strict some some fixed pay and some variable pay. Right. And she said this other company that she's been talking to, they've been two weeks trying to figure it out. I told her what her base income is going to be mm. in the first about three minutes of the phone call. Okay. Um, like right. you have to know, you have to be experienced. Yeah. You have to know what you're doing. Right. You know, right. you have to know what you're doing. And for loan officers out there that haven't been doing it for a long time, mm. I recommend that they team up with a loan officer that's been doing it a long right. time. Join that team. Right. Get a mentor. Get people to yeah. help you. The yeah. only way to learn is to do. Hey, guys, if this video added value to your real estate thinking, forward it to somebody who you think it could help. Really means a lot for the channel. And I'm really trying to make it grow right now. So that would be great.